How many submissions has Holly Shorts received each of the past five years? Yeah, so in the five years ago, uh, we, we were at around 2,000 or so submissions for that year. Uh, this past year, we received 5,000 submissions. So we've, in between that, we've gone from 2,000 to 5,000 in the last five years, increased around 500 or so each of those years. So 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, 3,500, so on and so forth. Um, to now where last year we were at 5,000 submissions for the 14th year. This is our 15th year coming up, and we're expecting potentially 6,000 submissions. That's a big increase, and we might jump up 1,000 this year. Um, based on averages, of course, our early bird deadline is coming up next Friday. So, you know, we're estimating what it could be. Um, so, yeah, it's, a, it's we've seen a big jump in these last five years, definitely. Very cool. Of those multi-thousand-plus films that you've received since the inception of Holly mm -hmm. Shorts, how many would you say you've personally watched? A, a lot. Uh, I'd say uh, it used to be 100%. Now that's not as possible with uh, the amount of growth sure. of films and it's having a lot. new family and new duties and things on top of that. Um, it's probably a good, I'd say at least 80% of all the films. Wow. If not even more. I mean, there's just the last few years we've uh, grown our review team where I'm overseeing the process more now and watching certain scores and rewatching some films and watching my own. But I'm not just hands down watching everything like it was before, say five years ago, where I was literally just hunkered down watching every single film. 2,000 films is much easier than watching five to 6,000, naturally, uh, just time permitting, right? So I'd say that's probably a, a healthy and safe number because I, I, like I like to see everything <laughs> as much as sure. I can possibly do. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just it's a personal sense of pride and also maybe maybe I'm too controlling I don't know I want to make sure I'm well, seeing and watching it. all the yeah. films yeah so Absolutely. so there's that part of it and of course in the end films that I'm uh, of course watching and or other people are watching and reviewing the scores I'm going to program the films I program the festival so in the end the films that do get in I'm watching all of them so of that number you asked if you look at the number of the films that are accepted or in the festival those I watch 100% of so naturally so yeah uh, I'm going to review scores of other judges and then say okay I want to watch these 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 I'm going to make sure Let's see what they're talking about here and kind of just double check their work. And if I like the films and then it can sort of makes that sort of passive approval, uh, I'll be the one to program the film. So, you know, I'm sort of, I guess, the, the last go around uh, if it gets in or not kind of thing. <laughs> I'm curious about this review team. Mm -hmm. um, who are they and how do you screen them to know that they're really indie film fans? Well, we, we do a process of uh, sort of give them a, a soft start, right? Like, okay, hey, you know, this is our criteria. This is what we look for. We have a very big breakdown very thorough breakdown of how we judge, how we score, what we're looking for, what the process is, understanding how many films come in. Because you know, if you, if you just watch films for, for the film, right? If you're just watching a film, you might like a film, you know, and, and you think it's okay, and there's, there's elements you like, there's elements you don't like, but you're like, oh, well, this, this has a chance or something. Uh, you might score maybe a little lenient or something. Uh, not understanding that there are 6,000 submissions and there's only 400 spots that, that actually can get in. So that, that number is what, five, five to 8% can actually make the festival. It's very competitive. So if you're looking at it from that standpoint and only watch five to 10 films, they may not understand the full scope of how many films are there. Does that make sense? Like sure. there's, a, there's a lot of films to watch. So if they're just looking at their batch, they may not understand the full scope. So we try to break down a very thorough, you know, like listed out email of what we're looking for, what the scope of how many films we receive, what kind of films we have received. Looking at the lineups from the years past, we share with the lineups, hey, look at these, review our schedule so you understand what we've shown, what kind of films we show, the genres, styles, different things, um, you know, so they understand when they're looking at the films, like, okay, what is the full scope of how the festival programs and what we've had before and what we're looking for and things like that. So we give them all that and, and again, assign only a few films to start. If we love their results and, and feel it's on par with what we're looking for, then we'll keep them on board to review many more films and, you know, and oversee the process. If it's just too... If usually too lenient is, is more troubling for me personally, honestly, it, it, we, we do, it is a very competitive festival. Sure. Uh, and obviously we don't want someone who just, every film is obviously a home run and it's amazing and you watch the film and it's not on par. That's not what we're looking for. Now at the same time, if you're too harsh, it's also, you know, something that could be a fantastic film and they're grading it like a three out of 10. And it's like, okay, you're, you're being, you know, unreasonable. So there's both sides, you don't want that. And if that's the case, then we just sort of, you know, sometimes we let them know, hey, we're just moving on. Or some people just, you know, quite honestly, we just, you know, move on and don't respond anymore. <laughs> like, all right, you know, we're going in the direction. We just kind of like, you know, look for other people and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically the sort of process. If we like what their early work is with a few films, then we, we can keep them on for more. Of the people that you know in the film industry, 
is there anyone that's watched as many short films as you have, you and Theo? Um, I don't know. You know, I would I would say probably no. I think now at this time now, like we talked <laughs> about this years ago, I'd say who knows. I don't know. I think it's safe to say, you know, when you look at the math of all the films over all this many years, and since we're just shorts, essentially just shorts only and not the features, I think we probably watched as many shorts as anyone in the world. I guess <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot of movies we watched, so start thinking like, yeah, have I watched? more shorts than anyone I don't know <laughs> it sounds weird to say but it's possible I think sure. I don't know it's a lot of films I mean you're talking at least I mean I don't know I mean we've, you know, one of, I mean, it's say on average 15 years average is 2500 films let's just say what is that number that's 2000 30,000 movies or something I don't know it's a lot of movies so we've seen a lot of shorts <laughs> yeah so yeah <laughs>